Okay, I haven't done nail videos in forever. My fibromyalgia has been really messing me around. With the advent of polygels, those of us who have hema allergies are left pretty much in the cold. We have very little choices. So after doing some YouTube looking, I'm going to make some polygel type gels of my own. I'll be using Fusion today and Perfect Nails Platinum Plus Clear. Perfect Nails Platinum Plus Clear, both of which I know I have no reactions to. won't need too much so we only want to make what we're going to be using because this um, at home manufacturer does not store well Now you can see we've pretty much got a polygel like substance here which should be stronger than a regular gel. Just needs a little more. I'm not a chemist. So I don't know the ins and outs of um, what happens with this when you mix these two ingredients together. I just know that it works. So it's hard to remember but you need to um, use even less than you think you do because the gel increases in volume when you mix it up. Now I've wet my brush down with um, isopropyl alcohol. Now you can see this going on quite well and it's really easy to make the smile line. I'm always generous with my smile lines. I figure if you're going to be happy, you might as well be really happy. Now the best way to know whether or not your mix and how long your mix takes to cure is to put your mix on a nail form, spread it out to approximately the nail thickness, And pop it in the light and you put it in for as long as you think you're going to need to put it in for and then then check it now I'm going to make a white for the smile line keeping in mind that the volume will more than double when I mix in the acrylic I want to keep the amount I have really low now this has been under 60 seconds in the combo light I have a Sun UV smart 2.0 lamp and you can see when I turn it over 
that it appears to be cured all the way through with a oops with a 60 second cure now because we're going to do the cure and a couple test nails I'll make up a batch of this I'm using again fusion white hema free gel and clear perfect nails platinum plus acrylic powder Okay, so there doesn't look like there's a lot of ease on here. So we're going to test it underneath the lamp. And I'm going to put this in again for 60 seconds to see how it goes. While I'm waiting for that, while I'm waiting for that, I will mix up some more repairs gel. I'll mix up some Light Elegance Ideal Pink Builder. which as you can see is a thick gel already. Because this is a thicker gel, I overestimated how much acrylic powder I'd need. You can already see that this is now more of a gum than a poly gel. If I wanted to thin that down, if I wanted to thin this down, I'd add some more uh, light elegance gel. Now here we have the white mix. On the surface, after 60 seconds, it appears to be cured. When we flip it over, you can clearly see that it is not cured all the way through. So we'll pop that in for another 30 seconds. Actually, we'll put a fresh batch on. make it totally fair and we'll put that one in for a minute 30 so while I'm waiting for that to cook through I'm going to take the opportunity to have a go at baby boomer nails which is something I personally have never been able to master in gel.
Okay, first stage of the baby boomers done. Now we'll have a look at how well it is to cure. So, this is the old one, 60 second cure, didn't work. This is the new one, 60 second cure. Look at that. Looks like it needs a two minute cure. It's not quite cured all the way through. The joys of white gel. So on this one, we've already got the white cured for two minutes up there. Now we are going to put in the pink part of the baby boomer nails. we go. My first successful set of baby boomer nails in gel. So that goes in for a minute 30. And here we have baby boomer nails. Give them a little bit, a little bit of a clean up, a bit of a tidy up. This one doesn't need capping, unless you wish to do so. Otherwise, you can go straight into your glossy top coat. Voilà. 